Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this uh, video, I'm going to be putting you through how to inscribe three equal circles in an equilateral triangle. So if you have an equilateral triangle and you're asked to inscribe three equal circles. Now, and there's a condition provided that each of those circles will touch two sides and one, I mean two sides and two other circles. So like this is having touching two sides and two other circles. So if you look at this particular circle, for example, it is touching this circle and touching this circle and it is touching two other sides. So I'm going to be putting you through how to go about it in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is to draw the equilateral triangle. So before I draw the equilateral triangle, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. So I'll be using a length of 10 centimeter. So if you are following along, so let's draw a line of 10 centimeter. So 10 centimeter is same as 10 millimeter. So depending on the unit you are familiar with. So here I've just drawn mine. So I'll pick my compass to measure 10 centimeters so I can get the other lens. So let me call this point A and then point B. So from point B, draw an arc. From point A also, draw an arc. So where they both intercept, so I draw a line straight down. So this would be point C. So now I've just drawn the quadrilateral, I mean the equilateral, equilateral triangle. So that is how you go about drawing equilateral triangle. So the next thing to do is to bisect two of this angle, that is point A and point B. So to do that, you pick your compass at any convenient uh, length like this. You can see it bisects. So I will increase the length of the compass. So where it is touching this line CB, I'll place the compass there and draw an arc with the same length. So go to where the arc is touching line AB. Draw an arc. So from their point of intersection, so I'll draw a line from this point B, so what I've just done to point B, I'll repeat the same process to point A, so at any convenient length. So I can increase the length. So this is a um, bisection of angles. I've done a video on how to bisect an angle. So you'll find it on the playlist for technical drawing. So from point A to where the boat intercepts, I'm going to draw a straight line. So now where these two lines meet, they meet at this point, I'm going to call it point O. That represents the center of this equilateral triangle. So another thing I'm going to do is from point C, I'm going to draw a straight line through point O, straight down. So with what we have now, that means we are going to be having one circle on this part here, like in this portion, another circle in this portion like this, another circle in this portion like this that looks like a kite. So let's start with this with this portion. So to do that, this line that comes, let's call this point point D. 
point D. So that means I'm going to bisect this angle again. So to do that, we follow the same process of bisecting angle. So you pick your compass from the point D. So another important thing to do is when you are doing this thing, always be careful because you are going to be doing a lot of bisection. So if any one of them is wrong, then it's going to affect mm, the circle that we want to draw. At the end of the day, we might be having a circle that is not touching the lines or they are not touching each other. So now let's note the point where this line that we just drawn touches this line that comes through that bisect angle A. So it touches at this point. So let's call it point 1. Let's call it point 1. So because this point 1 represents the center of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So what we are going to do next is to draw a straight line downward from this point 1. So for us to do that, we are going to bisect again. So you can see that in the course of this doing this, we've done a lot of bisecting and arc drawing. So from this point, we draw an arc downward on line AB. So let the line to cut line AB. So you pick your compass again at a convenient length. So where it is touching line AB. So the first one is touching line AB on this part. Draw an arc downward with the same length where it is touching it again. So we'll draw a line straight down. So this line that we've just drawn to this point, so let's call it E. So from point E to 1 represents the radius of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So I'll just pick my compass to get the length. So this is the length of the circle that we are going to draw. But before we draw, go ahead and draw the circle. Now from this point O to point D, so if you pick your compass to get the length, to trace out the length from point O to point D. So, so this is it. So you mark it on this line that is coming from C. You mark it on the line that is coming from D. So that represents the center of the circle we are going to be drawing. So that means we don't need to start going through all the um, bisection that we, went, that we did here. So we don't need to start doing all the bisection we did here. We don't need to start doing it for this other three portion. So that is why we have to do it like that. So now let's take the length of OE. So the length of OE will be the radius for the circle that we are going to be drawing. So if you have gotten the length of OE, this is the length of OE. So we use it to draw the circle. So if, if your construction is, is right, so the circle will be touching the line that bisects angle B and angle C. So here yeah, I already have my first circle. So with the same length, I'll go to this line that we use to bisect line B. You know, when I, I said it earlier that that will be the center of the circle. So, so place your compass there. So you draw the circle. So what we've just done now, drawn the circle. So we'll go to this third part and also draw the circle. So, so that is it on how to draw, um, to inscribe three equal circles in an equilateral triangle with each touching two, two circles and two sides. So if you have any questions or any comments with regards to this video, 
uh, kindly leave them in the comment section below if you're having any challenges doing this video just make sure your constructions is right the bisecting is right and i believe you'll be good to go so if you are yet to subscribe please subscribe to this channel if you have any question like i said just leave them in the comment section and then there's another part of this video that talks about when you have an equilateral triangle like this and you want to draw you know three equal circles to touch just one side and two other circles to look like this so that video will appear somewhere in the, at the end of this video or you check the description of this video you'll find a link to that video so that is it for now and i'll see you all in another video thank you and bye for now